Welcome to our next Tai Chi experience. Let's join me this next part. This is week five in our series of the 2023 Fall Tai Chi Meditation Series with me, Fran Dummett. Our topic this week is Tai Chi for Strength and Well-Being. What we're going to do is explore strength and well-being, have a bunch of quotes. Then Dr. Adam Potts, our physical therapist and Tai Chi instructor, will do a, a Tai Chi experience for us. We will see that wonderful uh, demonstration of Tai Chi with the background of Asian flute. And we'll talk about replenishing ourselves. And then next week, we'll have vitality. And again, I'm sponsored by The Village and Howard. So here's some food for thought. You can use this mind either to create well-being or misery for yourself. Everyone has a choice. For keeping your body healthy is an expression of gratitude to the whole cosmos. The trees, the clouds, everything, says Thich Nhat Khan. Well-being doesn't mean trying to be happy all the time. It's having the social, emotional, and physical resources, resources to surf life's wave. I just kind of like some of these things. You know, at age 17, remember you snuck out of a house to go to a party? And at 37, you sneak out of a party to go home. And I like this throwback. Remember how much groceries cost in the 80s? House was $15,000, groceries were $20, look at that. Just little throwback thoughts. But what we wanna to do today is also embrace the value of intergenerational friendships. So, so let's begin with doing Tai Chi for strength and well-being with our physical therapist and Tai Chi instructor, Adam Potts. Welcome everyone to Begin With Breath Tai Chi. My name is Dr. Adam Potts, the Tai Chi PT, and today is Tai Chi for fitness and well-being. All right, today is a actually really special session because we have a huge announcement that has been long awaited, and so I will introduce you all to that announcement. But first, I wanted to introduce you to a special guest. So hold on one second. I wanna bring, bring in my special guest here. So weighing in at 12 pounds, this is Leo the Golden Retriever. He's eight weeks old and he likes belly rubs, chewing on toys, and going potty every hour. So, <laughs> so I'm sure he'll be making many guest appearances throughout the coming years. So I just wanted to say hi, say hi to everyone. And uh, yeah, it's a new addition to our family. So we're really excited. We just got him just two days ago, so we're still getting Everyone's getting used to the new routines. Looks like he's a little tired. Nothing's cuter than a puppy yawning, huh? <laughs> so, all right, well, I'm gonna give him back to his mama here. All right, I'm back. All right, and so now, now that you've all met Leo, um, I wanted to also let you know we have some really special announcements today. We have a really big one, but first, 
I wanted you to know that for anyone that's a new member, if you've joined in the last few weeks, then please register for your new member webinar, An Introduction to Tai Chi. It's going to be this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Register even if you can't make the time, and I'll send you the link to the replay. All right, the replay will be good for 48 hours. All right, and then for our big announcement, I wanted you to also know that we're opening enrollment to our Begin With Breath Tai Chi Teacher Training Level 1 Crane. And so that's opening today. And so for everyone that's in the community, you will be getting an email very shortly. So once the session's over, you can check your email and learn all the details about the teacher training. I do have a link. It's either above or below the video for those that are uh, here uh, online. <laughs> and then, so you can click on the link to register for the new member webinar. Right under that, there's information on the Tai Chi teacher training. All right, now if you're a studio member, you'll be getting a separate email. So make sure you go by that email. But for everyone else, you can click on the link above or below this video and learn more about the teacher training. And once again, you should be getting an email. If you don't get one and you're interested, then please send me an email and I'll send you the link. All right. So we'll do about a 15 minute flow today, followed by a bonus lesson. I had a special question, a special request that will uh, break down one of the movements today so that you can learn more of the details. And then we'll finish We'll finish up there. So without further ado, find a place where you can do some mindful movement. You don't need a lot of space, just enough room where you can reach your arms out to the sides and enough to where you can take a step forward and a step back. So as always, don't worry about getting the movements perfect. Just follow along. I'll be your mirror image. That's usually the easiest way to follow along and you can have a seat at any time. So we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. And just taking a few deep breaths in and out. Whichever way works good for you. If you like, you can do the belly breath. So as you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Arriving in the present moment. Just letting go of the worries from the day. Coming into the here and now. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top just for a moment. And then let it out with a big sigh. Just letting out tension and stress. The hands float down by the sides. And as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy, bring it into the heart, send it down toward the earth. Sinking the chi, breathing in, gather, breathing out, directing down. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Just adding in some gentle movement. One more time, sink the chi. And then from here, step one foot out to the side, either foot, the arms float up in front just to about shoulder height. Then the arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips soften. Opening the door, the start of the journey. Floating up and floating down like you're resting on a wave in the ocean. All right, one more time. The tide rolls in, the tide rolls up. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, the palms face up. They float up the midline, pressing up overhead, and then floating out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in as you rise up, breathing out, floating down, or taking as many breaths as you need. Opening the shoulders and chest, decompressing the spine. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. This time if you want, you can do a side bend, but always easing in, never forcing it. 
one more time to the other side. This time, bottom hand comes up and push to the corner. The other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. Nice and easy, gentle rotation. One more time. This time, backhand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around. The dragon swings its tail. It's like you're making little ripples in the water, sending the waves out into the distance. And then round out and hug the tree, and then soften. From here, both arms float all the way over to the side. They drift down, floating up to about shoulder height, and then other side. And then from here, this hand scoops down and comes right out in front. The elbow bends, the hand comes to about eye level, and then back down. Same side, just the arms at first. Breathing, swaying side to side. This time, if you want, you can lift your leg. Touching down as needed, the elbow right over the thigh. Stepping down. This time, touching down or lifting up. Once more, the rooster stands on one leg. Letting go of judgment, bringing curiosity to your experience. This time the arms float over to the other side. They drift up to shoulder height. And then this hand scoops down and comes right out in front to about eye level. The other hand by the hip and then floating down. Same side, just the arms again at first, coming right out in front. This time you can lift your leg if you like. Touching down as needed, the rooster stands on one leg. That still counts. Once again, touching down or lifting up. Meeting yourself where you're at. You can always go forward from there. One more time. Then circle around, hug the tree. Then the arms open. The hands float down, the backs of the hands face each other, the hands float up the midline, and then drift out to the sides, the fountain. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out, really letting go, softening as much as you can. Soft like water. One more time, the fountain. All right, now this time, step one foot in, cross the wrists in front of the heart. Step out to the side, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift your knee, pointing it to the corner or touching down as needed. This time you can kick your heel straight out to the corner or you can always kick down towards the earth. Bring it back in. And then finally the arms open as you kick the heel, the heel kick. Once again, you can kick down towards the earth or maybe kick a little higher, just seeing how that feels. It's okay to wobble. That's how we train the balance. One more time, the heel kick. And then this time, the arms float out to the side, step the other foot in, cross the wrists in front of the heart. Step out, the hands brush out. This time you can lift your knee, touching down as needed. From here you can kick the heel. Once again you can kick straight out or towards the earth or anywhere in between. And then you can open the arms as you kick the heel. The heel kick. Building strength and balance, stability, Breathing, one more time, the heel kick. And then circle around, hug the tree. Love the hugs. 
From here, the arms open up wide, the hands float down, this time, fingertips point up. The hands float up the midline, then spiral out and away from each other. We call this silk reeling. Spiraling the energy throughout the body, creating healing and vitality. Breathing in. Ah, breathing out. One more time, silk reeling. This time, step one foot in, the hands come by the sides. Coming on the ball of the foot, the arms float out like you're spreading your wings. We call this the crane. Then if you like, you can lift your leg or touch down. Either way is okay. This time the arms can float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. And then stepping down other side, just the arms at first, the crane. Breathing in. Ah, breathing out. Touching down or lifting up. We're riding the wave. Riding the breath. One more time, the arms come up and over, and stepping down. This time the wrists cross, they float all the way up and over. And then from here, shift your weight to one side, spread your wings behind as you lift the back leg, touching down as needed or lifting up. The crane takes flight. And stepping down, the wrists cross, the arms float up, and then other side, shift your weight, Spread your wings behind. And then stepping down, the arms float all the way up and over, circling out and down. Reverse direction, hug the tree. From here, the arms open wide. This hand here drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions. They float across like clouds in the sky. The hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Softening the shoulders and neck, letting go. Nice and easy. Just breathing. And then from here, the top hand makes a hook. Bottom hand comes up and then floats across. Palm turns out. Circle it back around, single whip. And you can keep going just like that, or if you want, this time you could step in as the hand comes up, and then step out as the hand floats across. One more time, single whip. And then release the hook, the hand floats over, cloud hands. Once again, stepping in, drift across, take your time. Letting go. Not as important how it looks, it's more about how it feels. This time top hand makes a hook, bottom hand comes up, and then floats across, palm turns out, circle it around, single whip. This time step in as the hand comes up if you want, and then step out as the hand floats across. One more time, single whip. Release the hook, the hand drifts over. Cloud hands. Stepping in, drift across. This time, we'll drift across one more time. And then this time, step in as you make a hook. Step out, single whip. Once again, floating across, once more, breathing in, breathing out, and then from here, reverse direction. The hand comes up and over, pressing down, scooping through, and then back up. Circle it around again. The snake creeps through the grass. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go, just being kind to yourself. One more time. And then release the hook, the hand drifts over, cloud hands. Stepping in, take your time, breathing. This time top hand makes a hook, bottom hand comes up, step in. Step out, 
The hand floats across, single whip. Once more, breathing in, breathing out. Then reverse direction, the hand comes up and over, pressing down, scooping through, and then back up. Once again, the snake creeps through the grass. One more time. And then release the hook, the hand drifts over, the hands become clouds, connecting with nature, stepping in. We learn to move with effortless ease, at least eventually. <laughs> At first, it takes a little effort, just like anything. The more we practice, the easier it gets. The more we really sink in, becoming present, letting go of judgments, just being in the here and now. One more time, cloud hands. And then hug the tree, bring it back to center, the arms open, hands float down, palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand here floats all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering, creating focus, clarity, and presence. Calming the heart, calming the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over just as much as you can. The hands float down as you soften the hips and knees. And circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right around the body, scooping under, back up to the heart, and down. One more time, breathe in as you rise up. Ah. <sighs> Breathing out, softening down. This time, making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart, press out, opening the heart. Sending out all your loving kindness out to the world like rays of light coming out of your heart. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. And step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. Letting your body rock and sway ever so gently, bamboo in the wind. Just feeling the gentle rocking motion, all the sensations in the body that arise. Feeling the inflow and the outflow of the breath. And then bring your attention into your heart creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And then if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. You'll be meditating shortly, so you might want to contemplate the following. The final obstacle in meditation is ecstasy. You'll feel great bliss and happiness. Pass on to the next stage, which is calm. Remember, the entrance to the sanctuary is inside you. When I am silent, I fall into the place where everything is melody. When you do things from your soul, you feel a river of joy within you. I hope you were feeling that as uh, Dr. Adam Potts did the Tai Chi.
the moment you accept what troubles you've been given, the door will open. The quieter you become, the more you are able to hear. There's a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strong pull of what you really are. The inspiration you seek is already within you. Be silent and listen. The wound is the place where the light enters you. And now, brief meditation for well-being. And as you observe the flow, you become appreciative of this breath. How it is life-sustaining, life-affirming, connecting you to all life has to offer. Feel your appreciation for the air flowing throughout your body, just like the oxygen circulating through you. Imagining every molecule of air within you, completely full of love and appreciation. Where does this good feeling of appreciation live in your body? Notice any good feeling sensations within you. And appreciate them. And as you feel this appreciation all around and within you, You begin to become more present with why you desire overall well-being. Maybe several reasons are flowing through your mind right now. That's okay. Just spend a few breaths letting the thoughts flow freely. Why do you desire overall well-being? Now, beginning to sort through these reasons, which of these stands out the most to you? Pull forth one of the reasons why you desire overall well-being. Feel your love for this desire. Perhaps this is something you already have access to in your life, or maybe it's something you haven't yet. Either way, allow your imagination to feel as though it's already yours. It's something you experience regularly. Imagining that as your truth, tune in to how thankful you are for it. How thankful you are that your overall well-being allows such an incredible experience. Sometimes, appreciating something before we even have the fullness of it allows it to come into our lives more easily. So spend a few more breaths appreciating all that your overall well-being brings you.
imagining as if you already are completely, radiantly well. Mentally, emotionally, and physically. Give thanks to complete well-being. As if you already are completely radiant in all areas of your life. And with this massive appreciation flowing within you, Affirm the following thoughts, letting them feel true within you. I am radiantly healthy. I have complete well-being in my mind and in my body. I am healthy and I am whole. My radiant well-being enables me to do the things I desire to do. And I am so thankful. I love my body and my body loves me. I love my mind and my mind loves me. All is well. I am well. I am healthy, whole, and complete. Radiant well-being is mine. and it's mine to stay. Take a big deep breath in, stomach and ribcage fully expanding, holding your breath when you reach the top, letting these feelings build. And once you're ready, exhale with a sigh. At the bottom of that deep exhalation, allow your breath to return to whatever pace feels good to you. and begin to become aware of where in your body feels even better than when you started. How do you feel more refreshed, more alive, more connected to your own radiant well-being? Say thank you out loud or in your mind to yourself and to your well-being. And carry this feeling with you as you very slowly begin to roll your shoulders, wiggle your fingers and your toes, and when you're ready, open your eyes back to the world around you, taking your time transitioning out of this practice. You can control your thoughts and decisions and how you handle your feelings, how you treat others. You can control your actions and words. And the amount of effort you put in. You know your thoughts matter. 
when you're feeling this is too much, try, what do I need? When you're feeling I am behind, try, what can I celebrate? When I feel I've messed up, why not say, what did I learn? And when we say, hey, this isn't working, just say, hey, what tweak can I try? Your thoughts matter. Your attitude matters. Positive thoughts generate positive feelings and attract positive life experiences. For every grateful thought makes you healthy, healthier. Remembering rest and self-care are so important. When you take the time to replenish your spirit, it allows you to serve others from the overflow, for you cannot serve from an empty vessel. Remember, a positive attitude. And now, just relax to this beautiful Asian fruit with this master exercise.
replenish. You have permission to rest. You're not responsible for fixing everything that is broken. You do not have to try and make everyone happy. For now, take time for you. It is time to replenish. For a calm mind brings inner strength and self-confidence. So that's very important for good health. Slowly reawaken your body, breathing in and out, feeling your mind and body become more awake and alert. Moving those arms and legs and stretch your muscles to let them awaken. And sit for a moment with your eyes open, observing the room around you. When you're ready, return to your usual activities keeping with you this sense of calm and relief. Thank you for being with us this week. Next week, we work on Tai Chi for vitality. Namaste.